What is evaluation anyway? In my view, evaluation is the social and technical process of gathering uh, and using empirical data to make judgments of quality about a particular social intervention, which is also called an evaluant in evaluation lingo. Let me elaborate on that view of evaluation a little bit. I said evaluation is a social practice, um, which means that it involves relationships and interactions with what are called stakeholders on the ground in particular contexts. Stakeholders are the various people, the leaders, the staff, the community residents, the policymakers, who are connected to the program that's being evaluated and therefore have a stake in it. Evaluation is also a technical practice, and that's how many people might think of it. It involves the methodologies of social science, gathering data, analyzing data, preparing reports. And what might not be so evident to many is that evaluation is about valuing. It's a valuing practice. The whole purpose of evaluation is to make judgments of quality about a particular intervention on the ground. Those judgments rest on particular criteria which represent different value stances. So what do evaluators evaluate? Well, in general, we can evaluate a variety of things, often called the six Ps, and you can see the list on the slide there. In this particular uh, presentation, I'd like to focus on program evaluation because that's what I know and what I do best and what is really the most common of all different practices of evaluation. So first of all, it's important to say, well, what's a, what about a program matters to evaluation? Because different programs call for different kinds of evaluation, different approaches, different thinking about it. So it matters, key components of, of the program that do matter are, what is this a program on? Is it a computer technology program? Is it an environmental sustainability program? Um, what's the actual content and what's the purpose of the program? Those are all factors that matter in shaping an evaluation. Where is this program located? Is it a small local program? Is it is a national, international program? What's the geographic scope? Who are the intended participants in this program? And what's the scope of that population? What's the policy context? Uh, are there key decisions and funding uh, that are based resting on this particular evaluation? And very important is, what's the maturity of this program? Is it a brand new program that's being pilot tested, or is it a well-established, mature program that's being scaled up? All of those characteristics of a program matter to the kind of evaluation that's done. Now to take a look at evaluation, these are evaluation, these are components or commonplaces of evalu program evaluation that all evaluations need to consider and make decisions about. Purpose and audience. What is the purpose of the evaluation? Who's it for? What are the key questions that we want to know? We want to know about implementation. We want to know about outcomes. We want to know about quality of the design. And here's where the values come in. What are the criteria that we're going to use to judge quality? How are we going to decide that this is a good program or not a good program? And now the technical part of evaluation is the uh, social science design and the methods and analysis to be used. Um, there's a very important reporting and dissemination function to evaluation. We rarely publish our reports in scholarly journals. Rather, our reports are disseminated to key audiences, often the media, and to other interested stakeholders. And finally, there are the values that are advanced in a, in a particular kind of evaluation. Let me illustrate this quickly with a hypothetical example. Let's assume we are evaluating a new computer coding class to be implemented in one urban school district's middle schools. Middle schools are serve uh, grades eight, six to eight in the United States and approximately ages eight to 11. The purpose of this program, it's a well-established program. As you can see, it's been established by university faculty, well, well uh, researched, and so it's a mature program. It's not a new one. It, it is intended to provide quote-unquote essential skills to all students in the district about computer codes and to encourage student interest in the computing field. Student learning is the top priority for this evaluation, as is appropriate for an established program. So now turning to the evaluation, um, we have a description of the program to the evaluation. This would be probably be an external evaluation, again, of a an established program to look focus at outcomes. We are assessing uh, student learning for an audience of district leaders. The key questions, how, are, how well are middle school students learning computer coding? It's an outcome focused. Quality criteria might include students from all groups 
learn coding to an acceptable level of proficiency. The program is implemented with fidelity. That means it's implemented as designed, and it's not a hassle to implement. It's implemented relatively easily, and teachers have requisite and high-level quality training to implement the program. The design and methods, this is primarily an outcome study, so we are very likely to use a pre-post design uh, of assessment of student coding skills. We may also include, depending on the evaluator, some modest observations of coding classes to see what it's like on the ground, and we may interview a small sample of students to assess how they're experiencing the program. But this is an established program, so those might be extras. And finally, reporting and dissemination. This is likely to have a final technical report for district. There may be a summary, less technical report for wider distribution to key stakeholders in the audience and maybe to others who are interested in adopting this program. There may also be even an open meeting for interested stakeholders, parents, citizens, and others to kind of have a conversation with them about what we learned from the evaluation. This again is in contrast to scholarly publication in journals read only by a remote few. And the values advanced in this particular outcome evaluation would be group level average effects. It matters that on the average students are learning something and outcomes in this evaluation would be most important, more important than learning processes. So in summary, evaluation is the social and technical practice of gathering and using empirical data to make judgments of quality about a particular program intervention. It's designed to fit well with key characteristics of this intervention. That matters a lot. The evaluation must match the characteristics of the program and context. It's constituted by key commonplaces, all of which are threaded with issues of values and valuing.